Good afternoon. Happy Sunday, Keepers of the Cash. Gary V, the Casual Comic Guy here. And guys, today I'm here to let you know a little story about meeting Matt Woods. All right. So about a month ago, October 14th, Matt Woods uh, came up to Rochester, said he was passing through, wanted to stop by and meet me and uh, do a little trip to Rhinos. So him and his son Spencer were coming to town. We're going to be at a little place which I like to have breakfast at, which is incredible, and it's called the Pepper Mill. And uh, so I was sitting there patiently waiting to meet Matt Woods, the man, the myth, the legend. And I was sitting there. I got there early. Didn't want to disappoint Mr. Matt Woods. I'm keeping a keen eye out. I'm looking all over for Matt. Finally, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should see if he got lost. And as soon as I looked down at my phone and I'm looking this, looking to message Matt, he shows up in front of me. And guys, I can tell you, from the moment I met him, I knew that Matt Woods put the A in ass. Just kidding. Matt Woods is awesome. He lives up to all the hype that anyone says about Matt Woods. Matt Woods is a spectacular human being, a great guy. Certainly enjoyed my time with him and his son. And guys, his son Spencer is a joy too. Great guy, a lot of fun. And uh, his Spencer is uh, his son Spencer is a fun dude and likes to give his dad a little bit of shit, which I find funny. Having a son myself and knowing that you have that back and forth is a lot of fun. But couldn't ask to meet two nicer people. Spencer was awesome. Matt Woods was awesome. And it was just my pleasure to meet the duo and take them to Rhinos Comics to do a little bit of shopping and show them the LCS that I always talk so highly about because it's awesome there. Lots of great books. Matt Woods was having a good time looking through it. I'll show you a video at the end here of Matt Woods in Rhinos Comics. But in true Matt Woods fashion, he attracts attention, right? So while we're there, everyone in the shop just starts talking to Matt Woods. People he's never met, mind you, and they're gravitating up. They're talking to him. They're having a good time. Matt, of course, is being his personable self and um, just sitting there and enjoying the conversation and meeting all these people and looking at great books. So a lot of fun. We went to this um, kind of like it's like a, an in-house bazaar where there's like over 200 shops. Took them there. He did a little shopping with his son and we looked at some comics. His son got a cool knife and I'm sure you'll see a video on that. So that, that was a lot of fun. And of course, Matt Woods, being the great guy that he is, brought me a gift, which caught me totally off guard. And I don't know why it did. It's Matt Woods. He's always kind. He's always thinking of others. And he is a community builder. But this cover is incredible. Uh, this is one of my favorite covers a couple a couple years ago now, and it's my first Alex Ross slab. So, and um, I got a few Alex Ross slabs uh, books that I want to slab set aside uh, for certain characters, and uh, this one it's a beauty. You want to see it, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you again. So when Matt Woods came in, like I said. He met me in the diner, and when I looked up, when I was about to message him, Matt Wood just appeared. You know, there he was, nice and tall, his angelic glow about him, his son Spencer carrying on the glow. And he says, hey, Gary, and he hands me this. This is a gift. So Matt Wood's always a class act, and this is the Savage Sword of Conan, issue number four from 2019, and this is just one of my favorite covers. You have this Alex Ross Conan, which looks absolutely amazing. And one of the other things I enjoy about this cover is it is a straight homage um, celebrating, maybe homage is the wrong word, but it celebrates the old Savage Sword of Conan with the magazine format in the back. Some people say that Marvel missed an opportunity bringing the magazine format back. I still enjoyed this series for what it was. This cover is absolutely gorgeous. Staying in the Conan collection forever, a 9-8. And, guys, he came up to meet me and brought me a gift. All right? I was ready to, you know, take him out and just enjoy his company. I don't expect anything from Matt Woods. He was already doing enough coming up to me, right, and passing through 
making a diversion uh, for this for this little guy here. All right, and um, absolutely amazing, Matt Woods. Thank you. This thank you is long overdue. You know I've been busy. It's no excuse. I still want to say thank you. This is absolutely amazing. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. And um, guys, that's the video. I'm going to leave you with about four minutes of footage at the end here of Matt Woods and Rhinos Comics. And you guys can enjoy Matt shopping and just talking a little bit. That's it for today, guys. Until next time, keep it casual. Cubes of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here, and I am with Matt Woods and Son Spencer, and they are in Rhinos Comics. And Matt, what kind of books are you looking at today, sir? Well, Gary, this is my first time in Rhinos Comics, and I'm just amazed at the selection that they have here, but I don't know. I, whoop, I'm slipping some books here. Right. But so far, what I'm looking at is second appearance of Beta Ray Bill and Thor 338. It's a really nice, clean copy. I can definitely use a press, but right. I think that book will clean up very nice. And I'm a sucker for these old facsimiles. Here's Action Comics number one. I wish it was the original. <laughs> Here's a Tech 27, the first Batman, and the first Superman in his own title, Superman 1 facsimile. But I'm just a sucker for these. I like to read these old stories, and I'm hoping that the original ads are still in those because. Whenever I look at an old ad in a comic book, it's like I'm looking at history. So It I is. I love, love the ads. They're, yes. they're so great. Well, let's look and see if there are any. Yes. Right here is the old mail away. <laughs> I've read this book online, but online, it didn't have the ads. Right. <laughs> so. And that's part of the experience when you're reading these old books. It's just the ads are part of the snapshot of the time. And what makes this really cool? This is the original newsprint. Yeah, this isn't the glossy pages that we're used to now. Right. And as I'm just going through that, I'm realizing, hey, this isn't <laughs> isn't a glossy page. The cover's glossy. <laughs> I don't know. Is this uh, an original ad? I can't tell. It looks like it. It kind of does. Because the facts, the thing with the facsimiles is they're supposed to be exactly what the original book was, just an exactly. uh, exact reprint. And here's. Although, I think this is the same as the front flyer. Maybe it's not. No, it is. Oh, no, it's a little different. Then here you have this. Oh, letters page. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, Matt, but I love looking at the old letters pages to see what people were talking about back in the day. Uh, you know, we talked about, you know, a little glimpse into history. That's what the letters pages were. I mean, they really were, you know, people at the time talking about something that has evolved so much since it was originally printed, originally written, but you get to see what people's thoughts were at that time. It is. It's a snapshot in history. Now, Matt, did you have any Matt Wood stickers on you? Because you could always add your sticker to the Rhino's Walls. You know... People add them as they come in. I have never had a sticker done. I've never had an emblem done. Uh, emblem done. I need to get on that, okay? I'm a little behind on the YouTube game here, so. <laughs> Matt Wood sticker. Maybe that'll come up one of these days. <laughs> now, what else Matt is shopping is he was looking at some old FFs that we got in here. So a lot of good books. And an old Superman reprint over here of the facsimile he's got in his hand from what, 19... 1983, is that, Matt? I believe it is. Yeah, we believe it's 83. There was a couple of reprints of that book. One in the 70s, which actually goes for a decent price. And then uh, there's some more over the years. 87, I know that there was one. I'm thinking 83. Nice. And we even got Spencer looking at some books. <laughs> he, he's caught on camera. He can't deny it now. No. Nope. Spencer is looking for comic books. Spencer, you might like Lady Death titles. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, and we'll let this go for now. Uh, Matt and I are going to keep talking, and we're going to look at some books because that's what we're here to do. All right, until next time, keep it casual. Attention all, use channel sponsor Rogue Trader at theroguetraderutah.com and my code, keep it casual, for 10% off your comic cleaning and pressing needs. Remember, when submitting your books to be graded, use a trusted professional.